All right, welcome back to the channel. It's Sam with GSK Wealth Builders. I just wanted to give you a quick update on BlockFi. They have changed their rates. So um, why this is relevant is because a lot of people are trying to yield farm now and the rates are not going to be sustainable, I don't think. So if you're on a centralized lending platform, you're going to be squeezed first. If you're on a decentralized platform, the margins are going to go down because people don't know how to stake on decentralized platforms but as more people come into the space the rates are going to go down so um, let's just get right into it so BlockFi has sent out a new blog post right so this was on 26 april 21 and they've updated rates on bitcoin ethereum link chain litecoin and pax g effective may 1st so what they're saying is due to shifting market conditions, BlockFi will be adjusting the APY of several supported cryptocurrencies starting May 1st. These changes will be effective on Bitcoin, Ethereum, Chainlink, Litecoin, and Pax Gold. Here are the new changes. So the tier one, if you were holding zero to half a Bitcoin, they were giving you 5%. So that's what they advertise. Or they, they were giving you 6%. So they always advertise earn 6%. But really, you're only earning 6% on half of Bitcoin, right? So then uh, <laughs> the next thing they would do is in the second tier, 0 0.5 to 20 Bitcoin. That's where most people are going to fall within. And the former was 2%. So really, BlockFi is paying 2% on the Bitcoin. And then 20 and above, half a percent. So what most people are going to do, they're going to take, they're going to take their coins out, right? They're going to move it somewhere else, like Nexo. But Nexo also did a change, I believe. So Ethereum, um, it was 5.25%. Now it's 4.5, uh, 2% on the two and above, and 0 0.5. Then Link Chain and Litecoin, it was 5.5%, and they went to 4.5%. 4 so why are we making these changes? Okay, let's see what they say. At Block 5, we set the rates by looking where we can find compelling risk-adjusted returns with a minimum tolerance for losses. The market dynamics change, our rates also change and reflect the current position. So I heard that there was actually, they were making money off of the BTC premium. And once the premium went to a deficit, um, that killed their returns. To better understand these changes, we should look at the funding rates and the payments for the traders. So... The funding rates are relatively low, so we're able to keep the BTC APY at the highest tier at 3%, but it's only for half a Bitcoin, right? So basically, um, they're being safe, which is fine, right? But you're not getting any yield in the centralized exchange, so you should learn how to get the yield yourself, right? And then they talk about how their lending works. So one, the client keeps the assets. The client deposits assets, then they get the the client deposits assets as collateral. Then they ask for a loan. The loan is given to the clients in U.S. dollars, and eventually the client pays back the loan to BlockFi. Who's borrowing? Um, they're for investors who currently have Bitcoin, and that's probably it. They also have. Now, borrowing Bitcoin is only available to institutional investors. The investors are primarily market-making firms, trading firms, hedge funds. So I do know Celsius is profitable. BlockFi, I don't think they're profitable. So Celsius is probably a better place, but everyone's everyone's shrinking their rates. So that's what you're going to see uh, recently. So I just wanted to give you that update. S start looking at your emails. Start looking at these rates when you, when you deposit, right? You're only getting the 6 or the 5% on half of a Bitcoin. You might want to move somewhere else. So I'm using Nexo and Celsius because they pay way better than BlockFi. BlockFi does have a credit card coming out. That might make it good for people who want to spend their coins, right? So they'll be able to get 1.5 cash back in Bitcoin in every purchase. Bitcoin goes up, so it'll be more than 1.5%. So that's cool. So there's actually a link below at the bottom where you can sign up for BlockFi, this BlockFi credit card. And if you use my link, um, it might help us get some kind of bonus and we'll see. So that's all I have for this video. Take care, make sure you subscribe and like the video, turn on your notifications and follow me on 
Instagram and Twitter at SamGSK. Thank you very much.